Hi everybody, it's Marie from Copeland's Creations with another craft for you. Um, I wanted to take a second before we start our craft to say if you like what you see, please consider giving me a thumbs up and uh, subscribing and sharing this channel with your friends and family. So that's my biggest, uh, yeah, that's my, my big uh, ask. So what we're going to do today is I have already pre-done some of it because that's the boring part that nobody wants to see. I took a, a heart frame from the Dollar Tree. It had some paper over it that I most I got most of it off and it had the word love on it with like kind of arrow through it. So I, I did all that work yesterday and then I took um, cardboard and I made it the size of the heart and then I trimmed it down. And then what I did <coughs> was I removed the top layer. And then I had a few spots that I just lightly sanded over it to get rid of some of the fuzzy. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna glue that down and then I'm gonna give it a coat of paint. I probably should have put a little hot glue just to make it bind quicker, but it'll be fine. Okay. That looks good. I'm going to use the red Waverly chalk paint. It's actually in crimson. And Okay, quick dry. Once dry, I did a quick second coat on the heart, and then I used Antique Wax by Waverly and used a paper towel combination, and eventually I'll use my hands to help spread it and get it the way I want. Then a quick sanding around the edges to give it a, a little bit of weathered look to it. So yesterday I took this heart and I used spackle on it. And so I let it dry really well. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna paint it and then I am going to um, add some distressing colors. So when I made this originally, I was going to um, do a cutout with the truck and the loads of love, and I just didn't like it. So what I did was I used um, some antique wax, and I antique waxed over it, and then I used some of the Waverly plaster and uh, did some dry brushing on it. And then I just took some of this burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. Probably, I, I haven't even tacked it down. So, oh, I guess I did tack it down here. I didn't tack it down anywhere else. Um, then, like I said, this is what I did. I'm going to angle it on there after I paint it and distress it. And then yesterday while I was talking on the phone with my son, and I figured you guys didn't want to hear that conversation. I just made this bow and I used some leftover ribbon from another project. I have some of this little lace that I bought at a consignment shop. Um, and then I have some other fine ribbons in there. And I found these really pretty glittery beads or stranded beads. I got them at... Um, Hobby Lobby in over kind of in the garden section. Oh, actually, I can't even tell you where I saw, found them. So I just kind of threw all those together, some other ribbons, uh, nice and nice and nice, I guess you could say. And I am going to end up attaching them on here also. I'm just going to paint this now and then um, age it up a little bit and we'll see where it goes from there. And I am just using plaster on here. Um, I thought 
thinking about mixing some colors, but I think I will get more of my effect from um, distressing it. And as you can see, I'm using a chippy brush because I don't want it to be pretty. So, and I really don't like these brushes. As I don't know if you can see the all the bristles I lose, but and of course I have a. There we go. All right. A quick dry with the heat gun, and then we're going to use the antique wax again. And this time I'm just using a, a sponge from a cut up sponge from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to um, spread it around and make it look as aged as I can. I probably should have made sure it was dry. I ended up using a baby wipe to help smear the antique wax on to get the effect that I was looking for. Once I'm finished putting it on, I'm just going to set it aside and let it dry. I decided to add some another strand of pearls around the outside of the cardboard. Of course, I had to feed it through the, the ribbon because I had already tacked it on. So I'm fighting with it here, struggling a little bit, but once I get it on, it, it goes on nicely. And then I'll just outline that, that heart and cut it off, and then I will take my time hot gluing it on. As I move around, I notice a spot that's not quite tacked down between the cardboard and the, the heavier heart. So I just want to add that really quick to make sure it's nice and sealed. And then I just keep going all the way around. Let's jump forward and see what it looks like. Very nice. One more quick dry just to make sure that the plaster is really dry, the paint, everything, so I don't make another big mess over everything. Okay, so A lot of hot glue and a little heart in the center. This is how I burn myself every time, doing the little finishing touches. Then I decide to use a thicker twine for the hanger. 
Um, I'm just going to thread it through and tie it off, and then we will have a finished Knot project. Knot it in the back, so why don't I do it this way then? So this twine that I bought, I like it because it's a little heavier and it's not as uh, messy. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but it doesn't have as many um, pieces that hang off of it. So oh, let's hold this up a little bit. There we go. I think that's probably a good height, don't you think? Okay. So. That's where I want it. There we go. Then I can just trim those and we get this. There we go. Mm -hmm. Nice thing about the ribbon is you can kind of play with that however you want. All right, another Valentine's Day creation from Copeland's Creations. There we go. I used creation as many times as possible. Take a second to um, give this a thumbs up. Make sure you've subscribed so that you can get um, the videos, the latest updates, latest projects, and please let me know if you see anything you like and you're interested in it. Everything I make is for sale, so if you have a special person that you see something you want for them, let me know. Thanks so much. Have a great night. Bye.